Hi! Yes, I'm still alive. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for all the new subscribers who have seen my past videos and thought, oh, I'm going to look at her. But um, yeah, back with another video. Uh, I'm going to try not to make this long because when you haven't posted for so long and you're continuing to crochet, there's quite a bit to show. So excuse my unprofessionalism, but I'm going to be looking at my phone because that's where most of my pictures are so I'm going to insert my pictures um, into this video and I'll be looking to see which one's going to be coming up next so that I don't miss anything and I can tell you what's coming next um, I think I might post another video about other things that are going on um, just I guess to let you know what's happening I'm not going to start the whole vlogging thing that's not really me but there are other things that I'm interested in um, in putting on my channel and I might start doing that and yeah I might do another video but that's for another video <laughs> so what have I been doing it's been two months um, since my last video I did bags for my boys um, my eldest asked me to make him a school bag and I did and I added the school logo onto the front of it and I'll show you a picture of them here Yeah, I did um, bags for both of the boys and they've been quite a hit. The school loves them. Um, I've had some people ask me to write up the pattern and I think I will get round to that. It might take me some time because, I mean, when I'm, I made the first one, I just literally winged it and I should have written up the pattern when I was making the second one, but school started in September and I really just wanted to get the bag done. So I was just making the bag and going for it and didn't bother to write anything down. But I've got it in my head what I've done, what I did. And so I think I'll make another one, maybe a nice pink one or something in a different colour and write it up as I go along so that that pattern can be available. But I really did enjoy making those bags and they're durable, they're waterproof. Um, when I was making, I was telling a colleague about um, making these bags for school, she said, what's going to happen when it rained? And I was like, Oh yeah, because I was going to line the bag, but I didn't think, you know, they're kids. It might get dropped in a puddle or they might go outside when it rains. What I did was um, I lined, in between the lining and the bag, I added a waterproof membrane. What I used was just simply, you know those bags, those suit garment bags that you can get? And the one that I had were... Um, like plasticky quite light so I just cut them to the sides of the lining sewed it to the lining and then sewed it to the bag and so the bag is waterproof um, oh my phone's kind of gone off and I've lost my place right the next thing I made was these hats I don't really I don't do Halloween I shouldn't say I don't really do Halloween I don't do Halloween but I just wanted something different it's not really scary I guess but I did a black cat so it's based on the Hello Kitty but it's a black cat um, so here's a picture of that I also did my owl family every time I say owl family I have to sing it to the tune of the Adams family I don't know it's, it's just crazy that way but I absolutely loved making these owls um, I tried to do different things with the eyes so each owl has a different eye just so that I can say okay I know how to do each one and I love them the baby one is so cute and these are them um, along the kind of scary Halloweeny theme I did a Frankenstein hat and that's it here I also did a minion hat um, for those who know the film Despicable Me 
um, they're all the little minions and they've got two eyes one eye whatever so I did a one eye minion and it's really cute I had um, a couple of orders for that when I went to a market then I did some pumpkin hats and they are here as well um, next the hat I'm wearing um, this wool don't look at my fingernails <laughs> this wool has um, sequins on it and it was um, I got it from my sister in Yarn Vida who sent me a box of um, wool um, red heart when I was saying that we can't get glitter over here sparkly wool over here in the UK and she sent me over a box and this one has sequins in so I made this hat I absolutely love it added um, a little button here for a bit of detail and did some ribbon around the edging love 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 and the wool is so soft absolutely loved working with that then I made these little booties um, I can't remember the pattern off the top of my head but I'll add it to the description bar they're kind of um, I think they're supposed to be like Wellington boots wellies but then I made them in pink and grey so they're cute for a little girl um, Marcel has um, she did a tutorial on um, cause ribbons so I did a pink one I was just sitting around um, and the pink one is kind of um, close to me I do a cancer run I've been well I've done it now two years running and I'm going to keep doing it for as long as I can think <laughs> um, a 5k and so I did a pink um, cancer ribbon and that's this I also did um, coasters and this was also on the Halloween theme and they just say boo they are um, a pattern as well that I found on the internet and I'll put the link below they are really cute quite easy to work up and if you want to practice your lettering this is a really good pattern um, to follow to do um, I had another order for um, the stripy blanket from the happy hooker so my blanket I usually do them quite bigger than the happy hooker um, pattern and I don't add the holes for the car seat belt but um, I did that along with the little pom pom on top and the tassel so this is my happy hooker blanket set that I did um, for a customer Finally, um, I'll show you this one because I've got pictures, but it's um, I'll, I've got it on my lap, so I'll show you. I've, I've been quite intrigued by the pixie hats. Um, I didn't have a pattern. I just looked at a picture and I came up with this. Um, really cute. What I did was just alternate the colours. So I had like two rows of double crochet of the white and one row of red and then I just did the opposite coming down here so it gives it a bit of a different look plus the great big pom pom on the end. Um, so that's that. I'm going to do a couple more colours because I've got two markets to do before Christmas and a lot of people love stuff for um, babies. This will fit um, a newborn because it is quite small I haven't put elastic in this one I usually do but um, I don't know I just had the feeling not to put elastic in this one and I haven't and there we go then I made um, an eternity is it an eternity scarf yeah it's called an eternity scarf um, my friend was telling me to make um, snoods so I made this one quite um, wide I used two different strands of wool um, when it got to the end it was kind of like the one ball that I doubled back but it's like a it's a variegated um, wool I haven't done any of the ends in it yet it's a variegated and a um, pink wool and I just went through the entire scarf 
going into the back loops. This um, tutorial came from Tracy Beauty um, and I'll put a link below to her pattern. The scarf, oh, told you I haven't done the, um, put the ends in. So it can sit just like that if you want or you can wrap it around. I twisted it so that it will kind of lay flat on your chest like that. And then if you want to wrap it around again for more warmth, you just go like that. Or you could pull it up over your head. It feels really warm. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm debating whether to keep it for myself because it is just so warm looking at myself rather than the camera. But yeah, I really do love it. And I'll put the link below to the pattern that is i get the feeling i'm missing something out but i can't remember oh i'm working on other bits so i'm not going to show you those until they're done but that's all i've been um up to um stay tuned for other videos of well I'm, i say stay tuned <laughs> i can't i don't even have time to do my fresh off the hook videos but i'm going to try to get into more of a routine it should be fortnightly or at least monthly that's the the, the the aim the target that I put on myself and that slipped but um stay tuned for other things that will be coming um oh what I wanted to say as well is this hat I lined with satin so um, I'm not going to take it off but um it's totally protecting my hair and keeping the elements out because that's the thing with crochet you do it and you still are left with these holes you know unless you do like single crochet really tight but um yeah, love this. So, stay tuned. Um, thank you for liking, subscribing. Let me see your comments. It's been a while. And um, look down the list below. There are a whole host of other crafters, um, other crocheters who are also in Fresh Off The Hook, who are talented, talented ladies. Um, have a look at what they're doing. If you'd like to be a part of um, our Fresh Off The Hook family, unfortunately, at this time, it's closed. But there is a sister group called Gifted Hands. So, and you know, that's more versatile. So for those who are multitasked or do things other than crochet, you know, get in touch with um, One Virtuous Woman Marcel and you can be a part of the sister group, um, Gifted Hands. So uh, yeah, till next time. <laughs> Bye, happy crocheting. Goodbye, thanks for watching. The Fresh Off The Hook family, F-O-T-H-F, a family of crocheters displaying the talent that has been given to us from above. Fresh Off The Hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh off the hook. Fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. F-O-T-H-F is what we bring it to you. Crochet creations is what we do. We do single crochet, double crochet, half double crochet. We crochet just to have some every day. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. Fresh, fresh, fresh off the hook. you see check the links down below and don't forget to press subscribe f-o-t-h-f is what you see